Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Izola here with Flick Direct and I have a spicy 4K UHD steelbook review for you. This is going to be about 1984's Body Double that was directed by Brian De Palma. So grab your popcorn, sit back, relax, and let's get this started. All right, let's get into the synopsis of Body Double. In this movie, we meet Jake Scully, who is played by Craig Wasson, and he is an actor who is kind of stuck in this vampire movie and is just not really happy. He also comes to find out that his girlfriend is cheating on him, and instead of staying around, he decides to go and crash on his friend's couch or at his place. And his friend actually offers him this opportunity of a lifetime where he can pretty much long-term house sit in this beautiful home. I mean, who would want to pass that up? You know, just kind of chill in some place new. It's almost like a vacation. Now, while he is there, Jake decides to be a cheeky man and use a telescope to spy on a woman who is kind of far away, but, you know, he's checking her out. And what seems like something, you know, a little fun turns dark very quickly when he sees she's attacked. Now Jake becomes immediately obsessed with this woman and wants to find out more about her. And after one very intense meeting, which was very brief, sometime after she is murdered. Now again, he's obsessed with her, so he wants to find out who did this. And so he's quickly thrust into the adult film industry. And while he's there, he actually meets Holly Body, who is played by Melanie Griffith. And even though she kind of has this rough exterior, she really does want to help Jake in finding out what happened. Brian De Palma does a really great job of mixing eroticism and horror. And you can actually tell that there is a definite homage to the classic Hitchcock movies. His direction captures that suspenseful, uh, voyeurism. Now the acting is exactly what you expect from an 80s movie, sometimes a little over the top and campy, but it does work with the movie itself, especially since it was filmed in the 80s. I do have to say though that Melanie Griffith and Craig Wasson do an excellent job with getting you to really feel for the characters and want to know what actually happens to them and you kind of care for them. Overall, Body Double is a fun blend of thrills and humor for an 80s movie. And again, it's got some campiness and a little bit of over the top for some things. But again, it's a lot of fun. And I think that anybody who is a De Palma fan should get this to rewatch it. Or this could get some, some new energy into this genre. Now for the movie itself, I give it a three out of five. It's definitely a solid B. It's well written and definitely well directed, but again, sometimes a little too hokey or campy, a little bit over the top, but I do have to say I really enjoy the homage to Hitchcock movies because I'm a huge fan. And I love Melanie Griffith. She's always fun to watch. Okay, let's talk about video. I have to say Body Double is pretty impressive with its 4K debut with its HDR transfer. The film retains a graininess that just kind of helps with overall texture and sharpness. And if you're not really a fan of the graininess, I mean, it may not be everybody's cup of tea, but I really think it helps to sell the overall authenticity and quality of the film. Every shot is beautifully rendered, which really shows the film's strong cinematography. If you look at the previous release, you will actually see an improvement with the uh, resolution enhancement. So that's always a plus. The black levels are deep and rich, while the color reproduction really fits the 80s aesthetic. This means warmer tones are slightly muted, but then you have these really bright, vibrant colors with like reds and oranges, even blues. Um, it's just really, eye-catching to see the differences with the warm and cool tones. Because of the video upgrade and quality, I give this a four out of five. Now on to audio. First off, the dialogue is clear and well-balanced throughout, so you are never gonna miss a word. 
even when they're whispering. The soundtrack is excellent and you will definitely recognize at least one song, I think, maybe more. And because of the low frequency extension, tracks like that one song I think you'll recognize, Frankie Goes to Hollywood's Relax, will sound more robust than ever. Now, you know, I am always happy when we have a full Dolby Atmos mix because that just means it's adding depth and impact to the film. And here is no exception because each of the scenes have this added tension which keeps you on the edge of your seat. For example, there are scenes where you really just hear the, the crickets that are off in the distance and that really shows the excellent surround sound and crisper details to the overall score. And because of this, I'm going to give the audio a four out of five. I mean, I'm pretty impressed what they were able to do with a movie from the 80s. I know that it's not from like the 50s or something like that, or even earlier, because there was a difference in the way that we recorded sound and whatnot. But still, for an 80s movie, that's pretty impressive that they were able to just get more detail into the sound. And finally, we have the extras. Unfortunately, there's not much to write home to mom about, but you do get some added features in this 4K UHD. Let me read off a few for you and, you know, you can be the judge on whether or not this is an added bonus. So first off, you have the 4K Ultra HD disc. So on this disc, you're obviously getting the featured movie in 4K resolution with Dolby Vision. Then you also have the English Dolby Atmos, English 5.1, and English 2 channel surround. Next is the Blu-ray disc, and that also gives you the featured movie in high def, sourced from the 4K master. English 5.1, English 2 channel surround are going to be your audio, and then we have the special features. Now this is a newly added archived EPK interview or should I say interviews, with director Brian De Palma, Craig Wasson, and Melanie Griffith. You also have the newly added Frankie Goes to Hollywood Relax music video, but this was made actually for the Body Double movie. So it's not the one that you would have seen on MTV or reruns of MTV. Then there are four featurettes, and that, those are the seduction, the setup, the mystery, and the controversy. You're also going to get a still gallery and of course the theatrical trailer. So with all of this I would probably say I give it a three out of five. Again you actually do get more than the previous steelbook that I provided but I just wish there was a little more. And honestly, the Steelbook itself is really cool. I always highly recommend getting the Steelbooks because it's just a nice addition to your library. It's not just a silly little plastic case that holds your DVDs. These Steelbooks are really great quality and this one is no exception. So if you're a De Palma fan, Melanie Griffith, Wasson, I mean, look, you, you're getting something good here, even with just the Steelbook alone. Overall, I'm going to give the Steelbook 4K UHD version of Body Double a 3.6 out of 5. It's a good quality B+. I would say this movie is definitely worth it. Again, if you are a fan of the genre, 80s movies or Brian De Palma in general, you're really going to love having this in your library. So now that you have listened to me ramble on about this, get up off that couch and go run to get your copy today. Well, I guess you can also do it online. But again, this would be a definite addition to your library. So get on out there and get your copy. And be sure to come back if this is your first time watching or if you're watching it again in the higher resolution. I'd love to hear what you think. Leave a comment below. And with that, this concludes my spicy review of the 4K UHD Steelbook release of Body Double. Don't forget to like and subscribe to all of our channels so you never miss out on any entertainment news. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!